Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to my first ever bullet journal video. I'm so excited to show you what I've been doing so far. So this is kind of my, my setup and I've got my year at a glance on one page and birthdays on the other page. I've got a couple of trackers and a let's have an adventure page where I'm planning to fill in everywhere that we go. And then I thought it'd be cute to look back on a year in pictures. So every month I'm going to just put in a little picture. And then for my future log, I just kept it really simple and I'll be able to write down things that are coming up. I have already ripped my bullet journal down at the bottom, go me, uh, so I do have to be careful down there. But I just put some paper behind this page as I'm going to be using watercolours and I don't want it to bleed all the way through onto my next page. And as February is kind of my starter month and my tester month, I thought why not just test watercolours to see if they work or not. So I'm using a tin of watercolours which is from Major Brushes. I will try and leave a link to everything that I've used down in the description box. Um, and I just use a mix of the reds which was the red orange and the crimson and also some of the rose color just to create this kind of pinky ombre effect and then I'll just write down hello February and as it is Valentine's month I decided to draw a little love note and a little envelope. The pen that I'm using is a fountain pen I think it's a disposable fountain pen you call them because you don't buy the ink refills you just throw it away when it is empty and um, again I will try and leave a link to this one or one very similar down in the description box I didn't wait until my paint was fully dry on my page so my pen did start to bleed a little bit but these are all things that I'm going to learn and pick up on the way so I'm flipping it over, this is where I'm going to be drawing my monthly calendar view. So I started with a little bit of a pink wash and I'm just mixing the rose and the purple together just to create a nice kind of baby pink if you like and I wasn't sure whether I'm supposed to do this first or whether to do the boxes first so I started with the wash and then I switched over and started drawing my boxes. Now every time I'm drawing lines I'm using a like a biro pen it's a sonic smooth writing pen i think it's called and um, just so then it won't smudge because if i use my fountain pen it would smudge everywhere so i drew 28 boxes obviously there are 28 days in february and then i decided to shade in the top half where the date's going to go in red it would have looked really nice if i'd ombre this red all the way down so i had it Kind of deep red at the top and then it get lighter and lighter as it goes down but i only thought of that halfway round, so you know i just carried on i also done a really faint drop shadow in the red around my sidebar boxes Now moving on to my sidebar, I wanted a place where I could write down my shop releases, where I could track my social media for the month, and then at the bottom there it's just like a little tracker for my Etsy shop. And then once I'd finished that I went back and finished my little light pink wash in the background. Moving on to the next page is going to be my monthly tracker. So I'm going to track lots of things throughout the month. So I drew lines down to create boxes, obviously 28 along because there are 28 days in February. And then when I'd written the dates along the top, I just wrote down everything that I want to track throughout the month, such as design, housework, playing sims because I need some me time and all sorts of different things. Then I just labeled this tracker at the top and I thought it would be a really cool idea to do a mood tracker and I thought what would be really sweet and fit with the theme this month is if I drew lots of little love heart sweets. So I drew 28 sweets, there's one for each day and I will colour them in according to my key at the top. So hopefully by the end of the month these will all be beautiful multicoloured sweets. This is a great thing to track if, like me, you do have anxiety. Not a lot of people know that I suffer from anxiety, um, but it's good to look back and see when you had anxiety and then find out what it was that you were so anxious about, whether it was something the day before or something coming up. It's just a good way to look back and track your moods and see if you can see a pattern occurring. Then I just went back and added the colours at the top to my key so I know what colour goes with what mood and probably most of these are going to be yellow because I also have anemia so I am always tired. 
Moving on to the next page, this is where my weekly spreads are going to start. And in February the 1st was actually on a Thursday, so I knew I would have some room, so I decided just to do a little quote at the top. And then I took my ruler and drew out some boxes, and I just left gaps for the days of the week and the dates. Boxes did actually take a little bit of time, so with the second week I decided to nix the ruler and just go freehand, which was so much quicker. And to be honest, not having straight lines doesn't really affect me. I'm not worried that the lines aren't perfectly straight, so I think from now on I'm going to freehand my boxes. For the last week in February it ends on Wednesday, so I just drew Monday to Wednesday boxes on the side. And then for the blank page that I've got left, I decided to do another quote. So I went back into my watercolors. I started with the rose and the crimson at the top and then kind of faded it down and went into violet and marine blue. I then started to write my quote at the top and I switched to my Tombow brush pen, which I kind of wish I hadn't because I need a little bit more practice with. So I went back to my original pen and just finished writing my quote, which says that you can't have a rainbow without a little rain. Obviously I didn't film this specifically for YouTube so I didn't do an intro and outro so I filmed one today and I thought I would just give you a flip through and you guys can see that I've been using it this month and how I've been using it. So obviously the front is all the same, It's I still haven't drawn the map yet but you know it's all, it's all the same. I did add this savings page so anything that I'm going to be saving up for I can just fill in. And then this is my February setup, so I have started to fill in the calendar and fill in my sidebar a little bit. And as expected, most of those hearts are indeed yellow. <laughs> I've also filled in some of my habit trackers and I decided to go in line, so it looks a little bit different. So that was it for my first bullet journal video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I will see you next Monday. Bye guys.